everybody and welcome to a new series that I'm going to be doing on this channel. Um, I'm going to do a new Taito Ecology biome. Right, so let's get straight into things. So as you can see I have pretty much all of them apart from the very new Cretaceous Mongolia. I think it's a, a DLC. I think you have to purchase it but I haven't even like finished playing through all of these other biomes. So I'm going to do these first. Um, I think for this one we'll go for... Hmm... Himalayan Forest, because I've never actually tried this one. Um, so let's get straight into it then. Right. Name the new biodome. Hmm, oh. Oh, I don't know. So it's... Tundra. Hmm. Something. Let. Oh, I don't know. Let's just go with something simple for now. And just name it the Snowy Hills. I like that. Oh my god, what am I doing? The Snowy Hills. I like that. Okay. So, as always. I'm going to start off with the plants. Um, now, I don't have a very good track record with this game. Um, so if anyone has any tips, that would be uh, very highly appreciated. Um, yeah, I seem to always... Well, everything always dies, basically. I think I always put in too many herbivores and then they eat all the plants. And then I try to combo that with predators and then the predators eat all the herbivores. So it's never good. Anyway, let's start off. I think I want to have... So first let's have a look through all the plants that there are. Ooh, rhododendron. See, every time I hear the plant rhododendron, it just reminds me of things like Pride and Prejudice and, I don't know, Jane Austen books. They always talk about rhododendrons and it always fascinates me, I think. Bamboo. I did click tundra, right? Bamboo. Does anyone else know why bamboo would be there? Do they find bamboo in snowy areas? Because I didn't think so. Well, anyway. So what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm not going to have a mix of everything in, in just everywhere. I think I'm going to have areas of the smaller plants maybe uh, over here in the back. And then in the foreground. Or maybe just to the left so I can still see everything I'm gonna have the bigger trees and some of the bigger bushes and maybe some of the uh well yes yeah, some bamboo actually so let's get started let's put down I think some ferns oh that's they're quite small I like the bigger plants so let's see if they yeah they're bigger they're nice they're nice so let's put these at the back some nice joint furs Called. Let's have a look at these then. Oh, very nice, very nice. So these pollinate every 12 weeks then. Or they're, they are in stasis. I need to put in some pollinators in a minute um, from here. Okay, it looks all good so far. There's not too much uh, detritus, so we're, 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 we're doing good. We're doing good. I think I'm going to have some, some more ferns over here then in this corner. I think I'm going to have a, a big group of ferns and then a little bit of these maiden hair ferns uh, sort of in between the little gaps like that. Oh, green thumb. Cool. I needed that. <laughs> so let's put some more ferns in. Um, should we get some... I really like the sound of these blue poppies, so I think we're gonna, I'm going to unlock these straight away. Ooh, oh, they're very nice. Yeah, I'm glad I did that. Have a little bit of colour with all my green plants. Not that I'm against green plants. I do love a good green plant. Don't get me wrong. I love plants in general, to be honest. So let's get some more blue poppies in here, though, because they are very pretty. Ooh, there we go. Oh yeah, I really like those blue poppies. I didn't even know blue poppies were a thing, to be honest. 
That might make me sound a bit stupid after just saying I really like plants, but I just thought they were the red ones and that was it. But apparently not. They are pretty though, don't get me wrong there. So after I've added in some of the these plants, I think I'm going to skip ahead maybe three months just to play it safe and uh, see how everything goes. Because I really like this little corner over here now, full of really nice plants. So if I add in... Oh, I'm not... I've got to put the time skip on, otherwise you get your energy back really slowly. Okay. Should I unlock another plant? I mean, I have enough these T points. As I said earlier, I'm going to unlock these rhododendrons over here. And they are very pretty, so it's not a bad thing. Oh, don't have enough energy. I'll wait for that. Maybe I'll buy some, actually. Uh, I'll buy 50. Yeah, I'll buy 50 for now. That should be fine, just to put in a rhododendron or two. So let's see if I can fit them in. Do they fit in anywhere? Oh, they don't fit in. I've put my plants too close together. Well, that's fine. I think what I'm going to do with these is maybe have a big row of them all along this back wall. So if I start placing them along there, like so, because I think they're very pretty, actually. Right, right up against it, I think. Um, oh, and I need to add in some, some pollinators. See, the moths are pollinators, and as you might see from my username, I do like moths. My name is Uttermost Moth. I do like moths a lot. Um, not my favourite animal, but definitely one of them. So I think I'll add in these uh, to be my pollinators for this area over here. So I'll put them just there. Oh, and we need some probably... Hmm. Mushrooms or ants? Uh, mushrooms. I'll go with mushrooms. There we go go and let's place some more rhododendrons along this back wall I'll have them spread out a bit oh doesn't go there right up get there we go I'll have them spread out I don't want to overpopulate with them and then I'll put some smaller plants maybe like the uh, the flowers like the poppies in between so it looks really pretty but also this this area over here right here I think I'm gonna have this this sort of setup spread all along here and fill out this area of green before this area of snow i think that'd be really nice so let me just come over here and actually i'm going to buy these as well both of them oh gotta watch out for this otherwise i won't be able to skip and i hate that and i'm gonna populate it with these as well just so that i don't forget them at a later date and wish i'd put them all in so let's put some of them here this looks really nice. Ooh, finally a bigger plant. I really do like the bigger plants because you can see them when you zoom out a lot easier than you see the other ones. I'm not going to do too many big ones, although I have just said that, because then you can't see the little ones when you zoom in. So, oh, these rhododendrons are pretty. Let's have a look. Oh, they are so pretty. Oh, I really like that. Let me just... Very pretty. I like that. I do. Ooh. Can we get zone 2 yet? Oh. No, that's not a good idea. I don't think just yet. Um. Hmm. Just trying to... Oh. Clicking every button under the sun here. This one? This one. This one. This one. This one. No. Oh, did I find it? Don't think I did. Ah, well. Okay, let's carry on anyway. I'll stop rambling. Okay, so these are really pretty. Oh, okay, there we go. So uh, the pollinating is working. Luckily, because I... What are we doing? Okay, I did it. That's what I wanted. I wanted a screenshot. I like that rhododendron so much. So for future reference, it's G, if you wanted to know. To take a screenshot in Taito, it's G press the G key I think it was um anyway let's get back to spreading these beautiful ferns oh these what are they called again the Himalayan fairy grass those little flowers on the top are beautiful that little that is so pretty just the little yellow oh wow I like this I do that's very pretty 
Okay, let's add some more in then because I really I think they're very pretty. But also some more of these. Where are they? These um these furs. Was it these ones? Are the bigger ones? Yeah. Okay, and some I think some blue more blue poppies right here. Can they fit? Uh, can they get closer together at all? I don't think these plants go close together. Oh, oh, oh. Go back. There we go. Very nice. Well, this is looking really nice. I'd love it if I could have like a little lake in the middle right here. But I don't think so. And these mushrooms. Very cool. Herbivores eat these. Well, I would have thought. I do love moths. They're so cool. Okay. Anyway, I think another rhododendron is in order at this point. Um, hmm. I think th there needs to be one right over here in this corner. Can it fit? Do we think it will fit? I mean, come on. Right here? I don't, it's not going to fit. No, it's not going to fit. So I think I'll have one over here. That's pretty. And one here. Here. In the middle of those two. And, uh... Ooh, I don't have enough for one more. When I do, I'm going to put one more just just over here. Okay, but for now, I'm going to put in some more of this fairy grass because it honestly is very pretty. So how about I put it by this balsam? Balsam? Is that how you say that? Probably not. There we go. Right there. Okay, I think it's time for a little time skip. So let's see how our beautiful little biodome is doing in let's say three months let's see how that goes i don't want to go straight to a year and also i don't have enough of that uh tea points to do that so i earn 18 of them oh what's this monthly income so yeah i haven't got any like many animals at the moment just the uh just the moths i think it is so how's everything doing over here so some things aren't in bloom anymore which is quite sad this is stasis Oh, I missed all the... Well, I'm glad I got the screenshots while they were flowering. Very beautiful. So this this balsam, why is it not silver like in this photo? So, uh, okay, maybe in three weeks it'll look nicer. So let's put some more of it over here. It looks like bamboo, and I know there is also bamboo further on, but this looks very bamboo-ish. It's not a word, but it is now. Let's add some more of these smaller ferns. In. Oh no, these are the big ones. Well, let's add some of these in too then. Over here. Oh yes, and before I run out of energy, one more rhododendron. Just over here. Can I put that in? Oh, you can... I didn't even realise. Wait, let me just put this down. There we go. Over here are the little ones. That's cute. But that's going to take a long time to mature, as it says there. Uh, years and years. So that that's nice. Having them spread already. Wow, the rhododendrons. I didn't even see this. Okay. For anyone wanting to play this game, the rhododendrons reproduce very quickly. Very, very quickly. Okay, let's spread some more of these, uh, these ferns down here. So I'll get some more of these up. Oh, actually, I'm going to add in some more poppies up here. If I can get them... Oh, up. I had it. I had it. Oh, oh. There we go. Very pretty. And these are the ones I wanted. These ones that are the very small ferns. I want to see if they can fit inside of here. Are they going to fit? Oh, I don't see it happening. No, I don't see that happening. Oh, damn it. Um. All right then. Let's let's keep spreading these these plants. Just before the rhododendrons. Let's go back to the beginning of this and add some more of these bigger ferns in. Ferns seem to spread very quickly in this game, especially in the uh, the Amazon rainforest biome. They definitely spread very quick, so I wonder if it's the same here. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, maybe some more... Hmm. I think it's time to add in a new plant. Actually, should we do it? Oh, wait. No, they're very expensive. No, never mind then. Wow. Did not expect that. Should we add in... Do you think we're ready for a little herbivore? Oh, I don't... No. 
I think, okay, I'm going to populate the entire area here in front of the rhododendrons with all these beautiful little ferns and poppies and little flowers first. And then I'm going to add in my first herbivore and I'll work on the bigger trees after that. I think that sounds like a good plan. Okay, let's add in some more of these balsams. Maybe um, some up here. That's nice, that's nice, up there. And then some poppies again. I love these poppies, honestly. Let's get them a bit clumped up, maybe. Uh, oh, okay, that, that. It's so difficult. Please fit. Oh, I got it almost. Oh, and it's changed. Right, well, let's try this again. Um, okay, cool, cool. Can I skip again? I can't yet. Um, but now I have no energy left. So that's not good. But it's fine. Oh, no, no, no. You get energy back very quickly. I don't know what I'm saying. So I think there needs to be more fairy grass over here. Can I fit any in? No, I don't think I can. Darn. Ah, well. Over here. There we go. Put that there. And then maybe some of the, uh these ferns in the middle that's that's yeah good i like that right there and then some some more poppy no 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 we don't need any more of them yet we don't want to have too much of the blue because it'll ruin everything else i think so let's have some more of these bigger ferns over here and they can be the things that spread on these these little plants because they they definitely and the himalayan grass actually the fairy grass definitely helps spread along the plants okay and let's add some more of this in maybe at the back here by the by the rhododendrons mm. oh that 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 fit then didn't it oops how oh there, it fit stop doing that jesus okay okay can we get it to fit can we get it to fit it just flashed okay there we okay i got it Beautiful. Very good. And I want some of these smaller ferns up here. If I can fit them in. There we go. And then obviously some poppies because they're very pretty and I like them a lot. Over here. Are there any more flowers uh, uh, ahead? So there's the really nice rhododendrons that have the red flowers. There's goji. That's probably pronounced like that. That's pretty. Oh wow, honeysuckle. Oh, okay, I definitely need some of that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Before I carry on, I'm going to design something. Okay, so over here is going to be the smaller plants. Then over here, I'm going to have the medium-ish trees. Oh, good. It's monthly income. So like the pom oh the fruity sort of trees. So pomegranate, I think some bamboo, the Himalayan honeysuckle all over this snowy area. Um, and the 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 last four trees, I think they can share the area over here in the bigger area, so that they have enough space. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's good. So if I come back over here, actually, let's, yeah, we can, let's skip. Um, should we risk, no, I don't want to risk six months yet. I think three months is good. Yeah, that's good. So let's skip that. Okay, and hopefully, oh, we didn't get as much back, but we only lost a little bit of the tea points, so it doesn't matter. But hopefully soon, we can get more of those points and unlock some new plants. Maybe that, um, what was it called? Let me have a look. What was it called? The goji. The goji. Yeah, that was... Um, I want to unlock some of that. Right, let's carry on. Oh, look! This balsam also reproduces very, very quickly. Okay, mental note. The rhododendrons going everywhere. I don't want them to spread too far into the snow, actually. Oh, dear. My plan is foiled! Um, no, that's fine. Once I've unlocked the... Where is it? Once I've unlocked the goji and the bamboo, I can put it here and stop that from spreading, maybe? I wish there was an option like that, but I guess that defeats the whole object of the... The whole point of the game, but I wish there was sort of an option to stop the spreading of certain plants to certain areas, but it doesn't matter, to be honest. It makes it more natural. So let's add some more of these bigger ferns up here. Let's get them in a clump. Oh, come on! That should be okay. Never mind. Let's add them up here. There we go. 
some more ferns. So the ferns don't actually seem to be spreading that much. I mean, there's some smaller ones over here. But, oh, there's more mushrooms. Oh, okay, they just spread. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, anyway. More poppies. I think I'll add some over here by the rhododendrons. Very pretty. And then some of the, the grass, I think, have that encircling over here. There we go. And then, don't need any more of that balsam because it's it's spreading very quickly. And some little ferns, smaller, sorry, over there, right in the middle. Oh, I hate that when that happens. Okay, okay, there we go. And then, hmm, some more of the big ferns. I, they're very pretty actually because they're quite bushy, uh, bushy plants, and they're very lime green. I call that lime green. Yeah, I think that's pretty lime. So yeah, that's good over there. And some more over here, just there. Perfect. And then some more poppies down here if I can fit them in. There we go. The poppies are definitely my favourite plant in this this biome so far. I really like them. Let's add in the poppies again over here. And one more for good luck over here. Very nice, very nice. Well, as night is falling and we are nearly finished this area of the biome, I'm going to leave this episode here. Uh, feel free to comment down below and tell me if you thought this was good, if you wanted me to add in the herbivores a bit early, which maybe I should have done, but the plants are just too pretty for them to destroy, to be honest. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.